Well, we didn't have a good start. Um, they were physical. They were the they were dictating the game on both ends. Uh, we're, we were we weren't the physicality wasn't there to start the game, and you don't do that after you just beat a team. This is what this is what the result's going to be. The halftime score is going to be that. We didn't come out with the the right um, the right frame of mind it's to compete against a, a team that's that's fighting for their um, their life as well. And we've seen teams try everything against Brad, and, and lately he, he still scores. Um, what did they do tonight to limit him for basically the first time that anyone has done in a long time? Well, we didn't we didn't make shots as a team, so they were loaded up. They had four guys in the paint. Uh, when we don't make shots, that's what teams are going to do. And that's what teams should do. He didn't see a lot of good looks, and then he missed some of the looks that he makes. Uh, he had an off night. And one thing about one thing about Brad, I've coached him now for five years. He's one of the best I've had his bounce back ability and I expect him to come back and 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 have the game that I have no he's capable of having he just had a bad night he had a, an off night but like I said his bounce back ability is is one of the best I've seen and he's so consistent very rarely do he even does he even have a bad game Fred S Scott do, do you do you see you guys defending worse when you're not making shots? Yeah, no, that's that was definitely the case tonight. We couldn't stop the basketball. Uh, it was uh, we were chasing the chasing the ball all the way around, and we we had a, we gave up 40 points in that first quarter. And in the second quarter, not not just a little bit better. Uh, in, in the third quarter, they they came out and hit about I think four or five threes. It's, it's uh, we know we have to make shots. Um, we haven't, we haven't figured that out when we don't make shots that so you still got to play on that other end of the floor. They came out, you could tell they came out with like a team that just got beat the night before uh, by the same team. And, and we, we knew that obviously, but we didn't come in with that, that mindset that this is going to be a fight. And we, we didn't step up to that challenge to, to join the fight in that first quarter. Tim. Scott, to, to that point, how much did you harp on that in the last 48 hours that I'm, I'm sure you knew what you were getting into tonight? How much did you guys talk about that? Yeah, we talked about it. You know, we knew they were going to come out. This is a very prideful team. Um, and we beat them. We beat them and with, with the physicality, physicality and some toughness. And, and we made them miss a lot of shots in that second half of last game. With, we didn't do that. We didn't have we didn't have practice yesterday. It was optional. A lot of I think we had twelve guys show up. Um, but yeah, we talked about. We knew what they were going to do. It's what they do, and and their record is not as good as they want it to be as well. And we didn't come out with that. We didn't come out with the right mind frame in that first in that first quarter and also the first half. Thank you, Ava. Scott, um, you've talked about so much about how Russ's intensity and Brad's leadership has have really helped you guys this season. Where is that breakdown happening that you're seeing where the, the strong starts aren't coming when you need them to? Is that seems to be like you're saying it's kind of an attitude or a mentality thing. So where's the kind of breakdown there? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely we need we need some. I mean, I'm not making an excuse. It's factual. We need some games together and some consistency and. You know, Russell, he missed last game when he came back today and guys are coming back in. We're going to, we're going to get in a, in, a, in a nice rhythm. I believe in this group of guys. I know we're, we, I know we are a better team uh, than our, than, than, what, than what we did tonight. Um, but our record is what our record is. We can't change that, but I know we can change how we play uh, each night. And uh, tonight wasn't, wasn't one of our better showings in that first half. So we came out in the second half much better and then they hit some shots and, and then we just couldn't find a rhythm offensively. It's um, we got to We got to Our shooters have to make shots and to open things up for our, our, our better players. And and that's just that's just the, that's just how it is. And it's going to have to. We're going to have to improve on that areas. And we don't make shots. We still got to defend. 
when you guys, when your other guys on the floor are seeing Brad's shots not going in or not seeing him get good looks, how do you feel like it affected their confidence tonight or their their something not just with their physical shooting, you know? Yeah, I mean, Brad, I mean, we feed off of Brad. I do. Uh, Russell, everybody does. He's uh, he's elite. He's one of the best players in the league. And when our when our young players see that, they they know that they know that we got to step up and and they want to. We got some good guys that want to do the right things, but. Tonight was a night in that first uh, quarter, in that first half, we were closing out short. Uh, we were giving them opportunities to make shot and instead of forcing them to try to miss a shot. And they did a good job on Brad. I mean, we couldn't, I don't even know what our three point field goal percentage was in the first half, like three for a thousand. It didn't, it didn't seem like we made many of them. And when you don't do that, they're gonna, they're gonna clog the lane and they're gonna really Compact it and make Brad see a bunch of uh, you know elbows and boxes are going to be loaded and but we still I mean we still got to do a better job defending we sh this team uh, tonight a, is a good team that hasn't that we beat them last game but we knew that they were going to come in and, and play with some more physicality and we didn't match up to it. Neil, hey, Scott, what kind of plays do you guys have in your? offensive playbook to try and get Brad more open looks that way that where teams can't send doubles and triples at him. Are those things that exist or is it just if defenses want to throw all the bodies at them, then that's something they're able to do. Yeah. When they're, I mean, they're going to throw bodies at them. That's, that's, that's what teams do until, I mean, we have to make some threes and we normally a pretty good offensive team, you know, tonight wasn't, wasn't the case. Brad is, Brad's efficient. He averages 35. I mean, the, uh, he's getting great looks. He's, some nights are better than others, and some he's a special player. He can make tough shots, and tonight wasn't his night. He missed some shots that he he would make, and but we but we still that, that had nothing to do that had nothing to do with this loss. This loss had all, all to do with we didn't come out with that physicality that we knew we had to come out with the team that we just beat. It's like a playoff series. That game you win, next game you got to step up. You can't you can't rest and and relax and enjoy the win and, and, and get happy with that win. And I think we did that tonight. Chase, do you have another? Yeah, one more. Uh, we saw Davis Bertans make those two threes in the first half, but he only played 16 minutes. Uh, why'd you go away from him today? Yeah, I mean, we were down, we were down big. I just want to give the other guys a chance and he's gonna have to come back and, 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 and be ready to play Sunday. It's just, you know, his, beat up a little bit. So just gave him that the second half rest and we were down a big number and you know he, he has to come back uh, Sunday and be ready to play. Hello, Alex. I would like to ask you, what didn't work tonight for your team and uh, how big is the motivation to bounce back after that uh, tough loss? Yeah, we kind of came in a little flat today, flat footed, you know, d defensively it wasn't, wasn't playing as hard as the first game and I mean, you, you, you see the, you know, the result. We just got to come out, you know, more with a sense of urgency, play a little bit harder. Eva. Alex, um, oh, Brad has so rarely has an off night like he did tonight. What effect does it have on the team um, when you guys, when the leading scorer, when shots just aren't falling for him? Yeah, but you got to give credit to the Miami. They, they did a great job. They double team him. They, they, uh, you know, they took the ball out of his hands and, you know, they, they did a great job. So you got to give credit to them. But, I mean, it's hard when our best player because we rely on him so much uh, to score. So, I mean, we just got to do a better job when he get off the ball, make easy plays and, you know, figure it out on the weak side of what to do with the ball. And when you guys start a second half off like you did where you're trailing 28 points or something like that, what's the mentality of you guys? Are you trying to break things down and say, if you know, if we can just narrow the lead by five points at a time or get buckets, how do you kind of break that down in your mind? Yeah, exactly. We were just talking about, yeah, just cut it to 15, cut it to 15, cut it to 10, you know, just trying to do small, like three, four minutes, you know, just don't, don't look at the score, just play our game, play hard, play harder than them, man. I mean, it was trying, we got the lead, I think, to 15. Or no, it was 20, 20, I think, something like that. But we just couldn't get over that hump. Chase. Hey, Alex, you guys are two and two in your last four games, but the highs have been really high and the lows really low. After all that you went through, do you guys, you feel like you guys are close to stabilizing and, and finding some consistency? Or I guess, what do you need to do to find consistency? I think it's 
on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, we just got to figure out how to play defense consistently for as many, you know, for as long as stretch as we can. Either, you know, not 48 minutes, at least, 30, you know, 40 minutes, 35 minutes, and then those best stretches make him not as bad as, you know, as in the past and just, just continue to play hard. And I mean, two and two in the last four games is not that bad. You know, you know we had so many guys out with COVID and some guys coming back trying to get in shape. So we still, we still pretty good. We still feel good about ourselves. Fred. Hey, Alex. Um, what, what have these first couple weeks been like for you in terms of just kind of fluctuating in playing time and uh, and also kind of learning a new team, new teammates, new system, all that. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just thankful and happy to be back playing. I just got cut a couple of weeks ago. So, you know, I'm just looking at it as a great opportunity and just trying to take one day at a time and just be, you know, be thankful and come back every day and just work hard. Neil. Hey, Alex, building off of that a little bit, what would you say is your familiarity level with the team now? Would you say it's pretty much all the way there, or do you still think that, you know, as you, there are a few more games for you to get fully comfortable? I feel pretty comfortable, you know, with every every, with every game. I just try to figure out what, what Ross likes to do, you know, what, what, what Bradley, you know, uh, kind of it's easier to play with Brad because, you know, you like to come off uh, wide pin downs. You just got to get him open for a shot. And Ross likes to more, you know, wide open, um, spacing, so you're trying to just don't set as much as many ball screens. Just you know, just be flat on the on baseline and just let them create and just be be ready to catch and finish. And you obviously have some familiarity with Coach Atkins and Ryan. Um, how have they been able to you know help accelerate the transition process? Yeah, they made it a lot easier. You know, I just kind of I kind of feel like back in Maryland days. You know, just coming in early games and working in the mornings, just staying after the game, sometimes get some extra shots. So they definitely make it easier for me. Ava. Yeah, Alex, um, does it make a difference for you as someone trying to kind of figure out your way, learn the team when the Wizards are relatively young? They've got a couple of starters who are kind of still figuring out and developing and um, rotations are kind of switching game by game, does that affect you at all? Or are you just kind of like, no, I'm, I've got to focus on my individual job? I'm, 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 try, I'm coming in trying to make, you know, when I'm on the court, I'm, I'm just focused on winning. And, you know, whatever I can help the team, um, whatever I can do to help the team win, that, 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 that's my, my whole mentality. I don't think about myself and just coming in, work hard and try to get some wins. Yeah, Brad, I guess just just simply enough, what, what do you deem the reason for your shooting struggles tonight? I'm human. First praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But Fred, I think you've been watching the last 17, 18 I've played. And every human being is due for a battle. Bad day. I'm sure you've had a bad day out of the 365 you've had this year, right? All right, there we go. This happens, though. A lot of tough shots. They made it tough. They double triple team a lot. Um, a lot of shots I had, I didn't love them. But they did a good job. They did a really good job defending. I've never been over in, in a half, though. That's no. Chase. Brad, collectively for the team, uh, what was the difference between two days ago and today against uh, the same Heat team? Oh, it was just a lack of energy uh, for whatever reason. We didn't come out with the same same like drive that we had last game like everybody was you know on the same page attentive to detail new personnel tonight we we let them bomb threes away like like they're not good at shooting threes um we couldn't defend on offense it was very stagnant you know not a lot of passing moving the ball so it's just kind of the complete opposite of the other night you know and i, I keep saying it at every game it's just consistency we got to be more consistent um, granted, you know, I, I put a lot of that on my shoulders for not doing a damn thing tonight on the offensive end. Uh, but we don't just lose games offensively. You know, we can't guard, you know, for whatever reason. We've given three-point shooters open shots. Uh, we let Bam come out. He, he was very energetic in the get-go. Uh, but, you know, their guys, I mean, they had even scoring all around, you know, 15, 19, 20. Like guys, like five or six guys have those type of numbers. So. 
you know, if we're not going to be able to stop stop the role players, then you know we we won't win. These these last four games, you guys are two and two, but the highs have been really high and the lows have been really low. Um, how do you evaluate these last few days as you guys try to stabilize your season? I mean, I've said it time and time again, you know, being consistent, never getting too high, never getting too low, staying even killed. You know, we haven't done anything yet. We won one game. You know, there's there's no need to be, you know, celebratory about that. You know, we got to get back to work and be more consistent and get it done again. That's what good teams do. So uh, we know we're not there yet. We got to be better. Yeah, we're two and two the last last few. Um, it's a solid road trip, but we we got to we got to be better. You know, we we got to be more consistent. And and understand we're not a team that's what is it what is it the five and fourteen now fourteen we're not fourteen and five so um, you know we gotta we gotta play with more of a sense of urgency uh, sense of IQ and focus. Ava, Brad, when you um, made your three, it looked like you turned around and like smiled or laughed or something. At that point for you, is it just like is it relief? Are you just like oh my god, I I got one finally. Like what's what was that emotion? Uh, I mean, I wasn't honestly. I wasn't discouraged. I wasn't mad. I wasn't upset. I mean, it was it was just honestly a matter of time of when I would have one of these games. Like it was just you know you're not for you guys to come out thinking I'm gonna hit fifty every night. You're like come on man, let's be let's be real. Like let's let's be real. You know. So it's for me it was just you know to see one go in as a as a as a score. You know that's all you need. You know that's all you need to see is one go down and. So I knew it wasn't me. So I either blamed the ball, the rim, or something, but it wasn't me tonight. Because it was such a rare off night, do your teammates, does Scott say anything to you after? Do they not even have to worry because it's just they know it's it's such an outlier? I'm always like, you might call me weird, but I hate encouragement. Like I hate when guys go, oh, come on, B. Oh, you got to be. It's like, because I know. I, I know that. I know that. And nobody puts more pressure or critiques themselves more than I do. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, I know, I know what I got to do. You know, it, it happened. Uh, you know, I had a bad night. Nobody has to like pump me up to be ready for Sunday. You know, that that'll never have to happen. Like I'm a, I'm a true pro. I'll be ready. I'll be ready for sure. Neil. Hey, Brad. In your assessment, what was Miami doing to make you feel like they weren't the greatest shots that you were taking, or how much of it was just wasn't your night? It was a little bit of both. I credit them because I, I, I'll never take away from, you know, what they did. Uh, just like every other game, I mean, they made it hard for me to catch. Um, they only switched with Bam. Uh, everybody else was a double team until I picked the ball up and got rid of the ball. Uh, Jimmy was the main matchup. And we know he's a good defender. Uh, so really it was, you know, granted a lot of shots felt good. They came up short, uh, but a lot of them were like, like indecisive kind of. And like, just, I remember, I think I had like two threes and it was like, guys were just standing, so I just shot it. So it was like, we got to get out of those type of shots and out of that type of rhythm on offense and uh, and get body movement, you know, ball movement, you know, get guys side to side to be able to give me some advantages. Um, so it's pretty much all it was. Uh, and then, you know, the ball just didn't fall in. All right, we're going to wrap up with Christos here. Hello, Bradley. I'd like to ask you, what did you learn from uh, tonight's game and how important it is to bring the, the, the right mindset from the first minute of the game? And also about you, how motivated you are about the next game with your performance tonight? Uh, I'm always motivated, no matter if I have a good game or a bad game. You know, it's, I was just about to not. I, you know, I, I'm not getting too high, not getting too low. Um, I mean, obviously, everybody's going to make a big deal out of the game that I had tonight, but... It's so funny to me. Nobody was making a big deal out of the games I was having before then until what? Every, I guess what? Every, the whole world started taking notice. So, I mean, I don't I don't get too high. I don't get too low. I don't pay attention to what people have to say. Uh, you know, I know my game. I know what I'm capable of. Uh, and I know I'll be ready. We'll all be ready next game. That's, that's on me to get everybody ready and focused and making sure that we come out uh, more aggressive and, and off to a better start. We got off to a real slow start. We were down, I think we gave up 40 points in a quarter, 30 in the first, 40, 30 or 40 in the first. And you know, we can't do that. You know, we, we it's really tough to win games like that. You know, then when 
I know I'm, I'm a lot of the offense, and if I'm not, if I don't have it going, then we're going to be struggling a little bit. You know, that was, it was obvious tonight. So, uh, you know, I just got to be more locked in, be better, and knock down some shots.